Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. So this word um, comes from a dream that the Lord gave me on January 23rd, 2024. And um, this dream already came to pass for me, um, half of it. It's getting there, right? Um, and so in this dream, <laughs> I'm kind of like, oh, how about sharing this? Um, but in this dream, um, I was uh, in a vehicle with uh, several people, right? People I didn't know. And um, uh, I stopped to put gas. Okay, I stopped to put gas um, and everyone got out of the car and they ran inside like of the store, right? The store. Um, and then I stayed, right? And I was putting gas. Um, and then someone came out and said, um, the movie's about to start. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done. Like, you know. So they waited for me to finish and then um, we headed inside and it wasn't like a gas station. It was a movie theater. Um, and so um, I'm finding my seat right to like sit down and that was it, that was the dream, okay. And so there was this one time last week when I was putting gas um out of all the times i <laughs> i put gas right this time god like really highlighted this moment of me putting gas and then it reminded me of this um this dream right um because it was me putting gas and so the reason why this time us uh, really stood out to me uh, when I was putting gas is because this time, oh my goodness, I'm kind of embarrassed <laughs> to share this. I ran out of gas, okay? This never, ever happens to me. Like when the alert thing goes on, I right away check how many miles I have left, right? And I look at the speedometer and I do the math and I'm like, okay, I know my limit, right? It's probably a bad habit I need to work on, but that's how I do it, okay? And so, um, this time, like, I still had miles to go on, like, and literally the gas station was, like, a block away, okay? But, um, I ran out of gas okay and i was on the expressway this had never happened to me so i'm like i don't know what to do and i'm like holy spirit like you know um and this happened to me on the first february 1st 2024 and um yeah it was all God though it was a divine appointment and that's a testimony that I'm going to share because God did something there okay um I still freak out thinking about it um but yeah I was on the expressway so I'm like I get off the car is still going even though it wasn't like on anymore it was weird um and so I get off, it's the first exit. Um, and mind you, this is rush hour. It was 5.30, I was going to pick up my son from school and he goes to school like 30 minutes away on the expressway, right? So it's like a few towns down. And so um, I get off on the first exit that there is, I get off. And like I said, it was 5.30 rush hour, okay? And there was absolutely nobody, like no car on the frontage, nobody. So I was able to go to all the way, like cross the whole street, barely going super slow. Cause at that time the car was already like barely going. 
um, and I was able to get all the way to the side and it stopped at a Goodwill okay so I get off at Goodwill right and I'm asking people for help right and somebody helped me thank God but it was a divine appointment God had sent me there for somebody for a lady right um, I will share that that'll be another video um, but this man was so kind and he was like um, I'll help you I'll go I'll go buy the thing because you need the thing um, that holds the, the gasoline right he's like I'll go buy it I'll fill it up and I'll bring it to you I'm like really he's like yes I'm like oh thank you so much so as I'm waiting okay God is moving okay and mind you there's a, a a seed came in a seed came in while I was waiting for the man to come back right and it was the exact amount that cost for like the thing and the gas so God provided it like it was all God right um but when he came back and he had the the drug thing right and he's putting the gas in in the tank um i see oh my goodness i see that the brand of it i guess is scepter and i'm like that's a scepter lord i'm like I'm telling you, he was all over this experience. Um, and it had a little crown next to it. And I'm like, Lord, wow. Okay. So um, he put that gas in my car, right? And I was able to take off and put gas. And while I was putting gas, this dream came to mind because this is the dream that I was putting gas in, right? And so Holy Spirit started ministering to me on how there had to be an emptying, complete emptying. Because um, when you put gas, there's still some there, right? And then you put in new gas. So this was a complete emptying, complete emptying. And it's like that new wine. And so Holy Spirit was like, you're ready for that new wine new wine and not only just like me as a person but vehicles represent ministry right so the ministry god is is about to just pour into uh ministries okay uh that new wine that new power the the newness right new season new everything so as we go through seasons right in our walk with god the things that he entrusts us with, our gifts, our ministries, those go through seasons too. And I will make a video about seasons and to be uh, discern your seasons and when it starts and when it ends and and stuff like that, right? And how to navigate your season, how to know what God is doing. And this really helps in making decisions, okay? That's a whole nother video um but uh what was i saying oh yeah the newness god is pouring out new wine the newness the oil new oil um the oil is fuel right which is power god's power god is just pouring out all the new okay and like i said this already came to pass for me um that part of the dream and so even the next day, Holy Spirit was still ministering to me about this, right? And what Holy Spirit told me, I freaked out. He, he said, go touch the scepter. And I'm like, oh, what? And I knew exactly what he meant. And I'm like, okay. So there I go to the jug and I touch the scepter where it said scepter I touch it and as soon as I touched it the Lord's presence just fell it just became so 
tangible and I could just read like hear the verses in my mind play out of the king asking um, Esther what is your request of to half the kingdom it will be given to you and I was like oh Lord so I was there just basically submitting my request to God okay and so God what God wants me to share aside from what he's doing and the newness and the pouring that and there had to be an emptying to pour in the new this is very specific instruction okay he is saying touch the scepter okay and I'm gonna read the verses it's Esther 5 uh, verses 2 and 3 and um, Esther was fasting, right? She fasted uh, three days before she went uh, before the king, right? And so um, she goes uh, to present herself, right? Before the king. And when he saw Queen Esther standing in the court, he was pleased with her and held out to her the gold scepter that was in his hand. So Esther approached and touched the tip of the scepter. Then the king asked, what is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? Even up to half the kingdom, it will be given you and so holy spirit led me to do this and so for you guys too if you see a scepter during this time whenever you watch this it could be years from now whenever this video pops up for you and you watch it and then you see a scepter whether it's the word scepter or an actual scepter like in a movie in a cartoon in a drawing uh in the store wherever it is god holding out the scepter for you saying that he is pleased with you and he wants you to submit your request to him whatever it is submit your request to him okay and it will be done okay so he is saying touch the scepter okay so um keep an eye open you know but i'm sure if this is for you holy spirit will not let you miss a scepter okay he will point it out to you make sure that you see it he will put it right in front of your face and when he does this touch it touch it okay and then start praying submit your request to God okay and it will be done and then the other part of the dream about uh, watching uh, the movie um, it just means everything's about to play out you're about to see everything play out and I had um recorded a word a video um about this like months ago um i am going to link it in the description box so if you are led to go and watch that you can okay um so yeah everything's about to play out everything is about to play out um you're ready your ministry's ready everything is ready to go you are new everything that concerns you is new um and it's time everything's about to play out and god is just saying touch the scepter touch it okay so if, if you see it if you see a scepter in front of you touch it and submit your request to god okay because he wants to um, um, fulfill those requests. He's pleased with you. He is so pleased with you. 
okay his child his son his daughter he is well pleased with you okay um so yeah so that's it for this uh work uh the scripture will be in the description box and if you're led to so you may do so that'll be there too god bless you bye